This is the apple tree which I thought is a bit mass and pineapple. It's not. It's not Herefordshire russet, it's not golden pippin, it's not pit maston pineapple. It's a mysterious new apple variety. And I think that I've discovered a new variety of apple. It's unnamed, it's unknown, probably. Susan, you thought that uh, somebody may have dropped a piff somewhere and this has grown from it. Seeds have grown. And I think this apple looks around 20 to 30 years old. Oh no, God, no, that's a lot older than that. Older than that, you think? Yes, that would have been the, uh, at least 50 years. At least 50. And this is the shape of the apple. Yeah, usually these green, kind of green, yellow apples are not very tasty. They are kind of, you know, their genetics can play thousands of varieties without any of them be, be actually really good edible apples. But this one is the exception. This has turned out to be a good apple. And I'm going to taste it actually now. Mmm. Sweet, fruity, crunchy. They're extremely sweet. Today is the 25th of November. The tree is just full of apples. These are natural. And has a taste of pineapple. These are natural apples. Um, you would have seen them before they were cultivated um, in orchards. You mm. would have seen them in, um, in the old paintings. Oh! Yeah, you yeah, think this can be medieval? Like so why nobody knows about and, this? Um, I'm that, so. I always thought that this is related to that crab apple there. Well, you can realize why is not? 72% of the population live in cities. This is a natural woodland farm, a woodland tree. That's why you don't see many of them. You see this tree is covered in the lichen. So it's that's, really old. Yeah, I told you at least 50, at least 50 years old. Now this would have been here. All this used to be a small holding, small farm. Oh. Then it became an allotment. Then it was built over to a flat. Mm. Which we're going to keep a secret because we don't want... I don't think the neighbors would be happy if people came by. <laughs> Right in the apple tree, but um, you still see them in the forest if you keep your eyes open. So I'm thinking actually... Pick them up, pick them up off the ground, you can eat yeah. I'm thinking to Susan, um, and they are related I can to actually apples, introduce it to a nursery, commercial nursery, and uh, sell it to them as a new variety of apple and ask them to propagate it and sell it. People can enjoy this. Look, 26th of November, in a cold frosty day, we had several frosts, and these trees laden with apples. Well, that's because they're very cold hardy, and they're late, they come quite late. These are the sorts of apples that the wild boar used to forage for in the old days. And people used to go pick it, and they used to pick it up from the ground. I'm excited. It's our non-apple yeah. variety. If you, if you heard the word scrumpy side, uh, mm -hmm. scrumpy came from the word scrumpy, mm -hmm. which means... So you see how cold it is? Yeah. Why are you 